15 AI side hustle tools you can use in 2024 and beyond for your business, your side hustle gig apps for social media, for content creation, just your general workflow. And I'll be honest, these are absolutely insane. The first platform that I just started using and absolutely love already is this Opus Clips. This takes my long form content and uses AI to break that into short form content. I'm getting six, eight, 10 pieces of short form content and it has auto captions, suggested titles. It frames myself for the subject automatically. It uses AI to place emojis in the caption and get this, it uses AI to insert B-roller cutaway footage. I give it a link, I click generate, it generates my clips. I do any little cleaning because AI isn't perfect here. I clean it up just a little bit and I can schedule to my social platforms straight from the site. There's no downloading it to my computer, whatever, and then re-uploading it. And that's especially helpful if you don't have fast internet. Similar platforms, two and three here. Video.ai, a similar clipping tool here. And Get Munch. Number three, continuing to talk about content here. The editing process is what takes me the most time. So I'm sitting here filming for 30, 35 minutes, but then I'm in the chair for four four to six hours editing. You can cut that down drastically for your long form content or frankly any content by using Firecut. It's a plugin for Adobe's Premiere Pro and it's gonna do a lot of similar things that we just talked about with the short form content. Auto cuts, camera changes. If you have an interview style, it's gonna automatically detect the subject and switch cameras for you. Auto captions, it can have auto zoom effects as well it can add auto chapters. Second category here, let's talk about graphics, illustrations, and photos. First platform, let's look at this Immersity AI. Now this is really cool because it's gonna take your 2D images and give it a little bit of a 3D effect using AI. So take a look at my recent thumbnail here and I can edit the amount of motion as well. I can also choose a different animation or motion style that I want. So what was once a static 2D image that I can't really repurposed, it's not that exciting, now has some life and some movement, and I could turn this into an animated GIF. Next, let's look at Adobe Firefly. This is gonna be a text to image generative AI. So what I'm gonna do here is just type in something that I want it to generate. How about this one? How about man smiling at camera? from his work desk. And understandably, it's not like perfect and you can kind of tell it's AI. And especially with, I think, the weakest point of AI right now, fingers, yeah, that's a little off. But I found this works exceptionally well if you just, let's say, target those headshots. Now with the generative AI on Adobe Firefly, look at this. Let me upload one of my thumbnails and I can go in here and I can click on insert. So what it's gonna do, I'm just gonna draw over the area that I wanna insert something. Let's do this, let's do over the neck and I'm gonna type in gold chain. Look at that, that's insane. And I can select different kinds. Oh my God. I'm gonna keep this one. And it looks really good. Like there's actually shadowing on the left side where that shirt would cast a little bit of a shadow. That is crazy. Let's do something else. Let's do a gold dollar sign pendant. Oh, there we go. That's cr And then the angle actually is pretty solid. How about some sunglasses? Yeah, that's good enough. And then maybe a uh, gold bracelet. That's crazy. What I noticed, it blurred out the bracelet too because like my face was in focus and the shirt and chest was in focus, but that hand holding up that phone is, is blurred and it blurred the bracelet too. That's crazy. Next platform, let's look at Focus. So this is another text to image AI generator. And this one was pretty solid. And this one, it let me download the images for free because some of these are free and some of them you get a trial and then you got to pay for it. But I think some of these are definitely worth it. But this one, it let me do a lot of prompts that I could download and the images were quite solid. So check it out. Let's do something like just random. I don't know, man working at a computer in the middle of a carnival with clowns in the background. And I just click generate. And there is image number one, a <laughs> working on a computer in the middle of a carnival. As far as the prompts that I actually wanted, literally working 
on a computer in the middle of a carnival with clowns in the background and there's people, etc. Now, you will find, at least in my experience here, either on video or AI imagery, it's not going to be perfect. The more and more you look at it, the details, things don't quite connect. But I think especially if you go for more simple prompts, like not as detailed, like nature stuff. Again, we saw with the headshots, something that doesn't have too much detail of a scene or whatnot, you might have better results. Next, we have Luma Labs Dream Machine. Now, this is going to give us some video options. So it's a text to video AI generator. So I typed a money vending machine at the beach. So what I envisioned was a vending machine in the sand with like dollar bills in there, like wads of dollar bills instead of soda. And this is what we got, a vending machine, kind of, on the beach, but it's not too bad. Lighting with the shadowing looks pretty good, and it's certainly on a beach. And then, oh, what was that? Little random creepy person at the end there. Let's try another one. Let's keep it simple. Let's try dog sleeping at home in a cozy pet bed. And that's even looking at the details, this is all AI generated with the zoom out as well. That has to be the most solid that we've seen so far. Our next option is Runway ML, and I'm kind of messing with it right now. It has this motion brush where you can upload an image and it should add motion either to the whole thing or just the parts that you've brushed over. So on the top, I did the text to animation asking for a sunrise over cliffs. And that is pretty much perfect. That looks great. On this bottom one, I had a picture of flames, just static picture. And there I used the motion brush to add this motion here. It kind of looks like almost lava or like a volcano flames. Next might be the most impressive AI tool that I saw in this video. I'm gonna show you something. Just a short clip of one of my videos here, listen to this. As a DoorDash Dasher, I'm always thinking, is that highest level on the Dasher Rewards program, Platinum, worth it? And as someone who attempted to be Platinum and just missed it, and now listen to it again and pay attention really to what I'm saying. All right, go ahead. Hit the space bar. As a DoorDash Dasher, I'm always thinking, is that highest level on the Dasher Rewards program Platinum worth it? And as someone who attempted to be Platinum and just missed it. Now watch my face, listen, and my mouth. I want you to pay attention to what's going on. Как Dasher DoorDash, я всегда думаю, стоит ли высший уровень в программе вознаграждений Dasher платиновый И как человек, который пытался достичь платинового уровня и чуть-чуть не успел... It changed my voice to not only speak it, but it moved my mouth to God. pronounce it as well. So as someone who speaks Russian, how was that Russian? That was perfect. It was perfect? No accent. Let's play it again. Как Дашер Дордеш, я всегда думаю, стоит ли высший уровень в программе вознаграждений Дашера платиновый того. И как человек, который пытался достичь платинового уровня и чуть-чуть не успел. Isn't that crazy? That is all AI. No accent. It changes the language and it moves the mouth using AI. Wow. This is Hey Jen, and this just used AI to not only translate it into Russian, but match up my actual mouth talking to Russian. That is crazy. So can you imagine, let's say your online business or social media platform, whatever it is, and now you can teach, sell, entertain, educate to basically anyone in the entire world because there's a lot of languages here. Now our next hey, one- Mike. What, I'm filming like right now. Can I tell them about your channel real quick? I mean, I'm, it's right now. I'm... It'll only take a second, I promise. <sighs> I heard that your driver mic is the best spot on YouTube to learn about different side hustles. If you're looking to maximize your income this year, subscribe right now. Oh. Well then, that is from Eleven Labs. It is a text to speech platform where I can type in basically anything and I get a voice basically 
AI actor and I get that audio file. Convert text to speech online for free with our AI voice generator. Create natural AI voices instantly in any language. Perfect for video creators, developers, and businesses. That is crazy. And again, look at all the languages as well. And I gotta say, like the enunciation and the tonality actually sounds like really legit and actually usable. So that was our audio niche. Let's talk about the affiliate marketing niche. If you need any kind of substitute product, clothes, furniture, electronics, whatever it is, look at dupe.com. Not as technically heavy on the AI, but it will scan the web for just that, like duplicate or like similar dupe products. So if you're an affiliate marketer or if your content centers around products, you could save your audience money or or let's say you're buying this stuff for your own business, whatever it is, or even your personal use, check that out. All right, back to the deep AI though. So our next platform is Meta's Replicate. So what I'm gonna do in here is generate AI music. I'm gonna give it a prompt, like a lot of these platforms do. Let's type in Uptempo Techno, but with a catchy buildup. And give it a second. Let's take a listen. Okay, I didn't hear it build up. It was eight seconds. You can increase that if you want, but that was certainly sounded like techno. Okay, what else? How about some tech house? Let's listen. <laughs> and that, oh my, that's only eight second little demo there. That was solid. And then lastly, on the research side, let's look at Google's AI or their search generative experience, they call it. Now, this is going to be similar to chat GPT, which is, of course, another AI tool. And I'm actually developing 200 plus AI prompts for you for these different side hustles. So look for that coming at your driver, Mike.com. If you want to be in the know, sign up for my newsletter. But this is a search AI tool where if it's turned on, it's going to scour obviously all the web, Google search results, and give you just a succinct answer with sources, by the way. So whether you're a content creator, business, e-commerce, or brick and mortar social media, you want to up your content creation game, a gig worker, whatever it is, there's some pretty cool stuff in here. And this is really just scratching the surface here. So let me know if you want to see more of this. This is pretty cool.